morning everyone. I am headed to the hospital. Today and tomorrow are going to be special days. I'm not going to be working but I'm doing, I'm going to be part of the airway course. So it's going to be like an interactive learning day, two days of learning all about managing airways. The first day is going to be different stations of um, like different themes on managing difficult airways, dif uh, difficult situations in the airway. And then second day tomorrow is going to be more of a cadaver lab and doing different procedures. So hope to show you guys what it's going to be about and I'm really excited. We are on day two of airway course and today is all about being in the cadaver lab and working with um, different bodies and learning how to intubate and do procedures on different um, people with uh, different anatomies. So that's what we're doing today. We're on lunch break right now. All morning was um, all about the actual intubation, so using um, DL or direct laryngoscopy and also VL which is a video laryngoscopy so different using different tools um, and just learning to um, pass that tube so you can um, ventilate and oxygenate your patients. So I am back from the airway course. It's been a really tiring and eventful two days. Um, today, the second day was all about cadavers and doing procedures. We did a lot of intubation, but also a lot of procedures that in, within the realm of emergency medicine, but ones that we don't really get to do as much just being in a very resource rich hospital. So for example, cricothyroidomy, which we learned about yesterday during uh, the first day of airway course but we actually practiced doing it on a cadaver um, today. Also something like burr holes, which if you guys watch Grey's Anatomy, you know it's a procedure that Izzy had to do um, when the patient was caught under the parking garage and there was bleeding in the brain and you had to relieve the pressure by drilling a hole in the skull. So we kind of learned how to do that from somebody who came down from neurosurgery. So that was interesting. Also doing um, chest tubes, um, doing um, thoracotomy, really just things that, you know, we don't really get to do a ton on real patients, um, but still nevertheless something that we should know how to do in case uh, I go practice in a uh, community hospital where um, consults aren't always available and it may be like a life-saving procedure for the patients. I also had the opportunity to film a lot of the stuff that we did within the hospital. Um, filming inside the hospital isn't really something that I get to do a lot, but um, the last two days it didn't really involve any real patients. There was a lot of um, like different types of education or different um, methods of learning, whether it's through um, online videos or audio clips or simulation um, and also cadaver, uh, sim uh, cadaver labs. It's definitely a new way that all of us learn, um, whether it's through podcasts or YouTube videos. Um, and I think it, yesterday and today was a really good example of how that gets done in real life and how students get to utilize those methods and tools to um, implement their learning and augment their classroom and lecture style learning. So um, that's definitely something that I want to be more involved in in the future. Um, and it was a really good opportunity to really, um, you know, film and document all the things that's happening um, in the world of medical education. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's definitely something a little different than what I normally get to film from day to day. So hopefully you guys got a good glimpse of what medical education can be like uh, during residency. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!